Glory to God. Daniel chapter 3, I know you all know the story very well, but I'm telling you, every time you look into it, you will discover new angles and new truths that you've never seen before. Daniel chapter 3, please. <clears throat> Verses 16 onwards. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God whom we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fiery furnace. And he will deliver us from your hand, O king. But if not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your gods, nor will we worship the, go the gold image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury, and the expression of his face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He spoke and commanded that they heat the furnace seven times more than it was usually heated. And he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Verse 21. Then these men were bound in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. For a few minutes this morning, I want to speak on the topic. Something good is going to come out of this. Something good is going to come out of this. It doesn't matter how bad it is now. But before it's over, something good is going to come out of this. I want to suggest to you this morning that God can take what wants to wreck you and use it to bless you. I don't know who that was for, that statement was for. But I want to suggest to you that whatever it is that is wrecking your life, you need to know that God will bring something good out of that mess. Shout hallelujah if you believe that. Glory to God. He will bring something good out of that mess. <laughs> He will take what tried to wreck you and use it to bless you. Hallelujah. Do you believe that God can bring something amazing out of adversity? He can take what tried to break you and use it to bless you. That's the kind of God that we serve. He can take, he can use what set you back to really set you up. God can use a test, a fire, a storm, or a mountain-like situation, a mountain-like problem as the very thing to put you in the course of life that he has destined for you. I want you to type right now. The fire can set me free. I want you to type right now. The fire can set me free. Glory to God. I want to share with you several points. And my first point is, your miracle starts in the fire. <clears throat> and when I refer to fire, I'm referring to your very difficult situation that you're going through, your problem, your pain, that sickness, whatever it is. <clears throat> and I came to tell you this morning, God came to tell you this morning, your miracle starts in the fire. I know that right now, some of you are going through the greatest fire of your life. And it's the kind that hurts. And it's the kind that makes you cry, makes you want to give up. And I know that what I'm going to say to you right now is going to sound crazy, but I'm going to say it anyway. Please listen. You ought to be praising God that you made it to the fire. <clears throat> now I can sense a confused look on your faces. I mean, I can just sense it in my spirit. You're saying, what? What are you saying, pastor? Did you take your medicine this morning? Are you okay? You ought to praise God that I made it to the fire. You see, my brothers and sisters, <clears throat> You're wondering why I said that. 
you ought to praise God that you made it to the fire. You're wondering why? Because there are other people that never made it to the fire. There are other people that died at the door or the entrance of the fiery furnace. Think about that. <clears throat> now, let me tell you, I'm a Bible preacher. I'm a Bible teacher. I only speak what's in the word of God. What I'm saying is not made up. It's in the text. Let me show you. It's in the text. Verse 22. <clears throat> I'm saying that there are people that never made it to the fire. They died at the door. Let me show you. Verse 22. Therefore, because the king's command was urgent and the furnace exceedingly hot, the flame of the fire killed those who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Do you understand what I'm saying? According to this verse, the king's most mighty men in his army died at the door of the fiery furnace. That means, please write this down. It's a miracle that you have made it this far. It's a miracle that you have made it this far. It's a miracle that I have made it this far. By all rights, you shouldn't be here. By all rights, I shouldn't be here. You shouldn't have lived through that car wreck. You shouldn't have lived through that, you know, drug overdose. You shouldn't have lived through that car wreck. I mean, people <clears throat> on the scene of the accident said, it's a miracle. And no one should have come out of that alive. But here you are this morning watching. <clears throat> and you know that you're still here because God helped you to make it to the fire. Amen. You shouldn't have made it. Other people didn't make it. But you did. Here you are as a testimony. <clears throat> that you did. Now I know you're asking me. What are you trying to tell me pastor? I'm, tr I'm trying to tell you. That what you really ought to do is. Praising God. You got to keep praising God. That you made it. To the fire. That's what I'm trying to tell you. That you ought to be praising God that you made it to the fire. There are others who died at the door. Write this statement down. This is powerful and I want you to meditate on it. They died where your miracle started. Powerful. They died where your miracle started. These mighty men in the king's army could today represent the three greatest athletes in the world. <clears throat> they could represent the three most popular celebrities or the three most successful people in the world today. These men that, were, that threw Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego they had everything go, going for them. If anyone should have made it, it should have been them. But they died at the door. On the other hand, nobody expected you to make it. But you made it. Glory to God. You made it. <clears throat> Maybe you weren't the most popular. Maybe you were not the captain of the cricket team. But you still made it. You are here alive in your right mind serving God with the Holy Spirit and power. That's enough reason for you to praise God that you made it to the fire. Why? Because your miracle starts in the fire. In the fiery furnace of your life. What you are going through right now. I'm telling you don't cry. Don't you know don't try to quit. Don't try to you know question God. Just praise him. While others did not make it to the fire. You did. Why should I praise that I made it to the fire? Because your miracle starts in the fire. But you want to complain. 
that you're going through the fiery furnace. You want to question God that you are in the middle of the fire when you really ought to be praising God that you made it to the fire. I'm stressing on that because I want you to get it. Let me make it a little clearer for you. All right? You could have died at the door. Like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. <clears throat> you could have died in that car wreck or of that drug overdose. But God never allowed that to happen. You could have lost your mind, but God laid his hand on you. Glory to God. I mean, you could have really become a wreck, but God laid his hand on you, which we need to thank God for. If it was not for God, you would have been swallowed up, burned to ashes by the circumstances of your life. You didn't even know him then, but he was watching over you. I wasn't even serving him then, but he was keeping his hand on me. He sent his angels to deliver me. To God be the glory. My brothers and sisters, I don't know about you, but I didn't win any competitions when I was in the world. I wasn't expected to make it. But I made it because of the glory of God. <clears throat> and there's no other explanation that I can give than God. God did it. Only God did it. I am where I am today and you are where you are today. As a testimony that only God did it. That's why I say, thank God that you made it to the fire. Of course, God is going to get you out of the fire. No doubt about that. But God want, wanted to remind you that he was with you before you ever got to the fire. Amen. Look at the life of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. It was not after they got in the fire that God got among them. God was with them before they ever got to the fire. And if that is true, then he's not going to leave now. No way. If God was with you before you ever got saved, before you ever knew him and loved him, do you think he's going to leave you now? Certainly not. Oh, hallelujah. As a matter of fact, my brothers and sisters, if you're in the middle of the fire right now, it's proof positive that you are coming out. Why? Because the miracle actually started at the door. And if God wasn't going to get you out of this, you would have died at the door like the three mighty men. If God wasn't going to get you out of the fire, you would have died at the door. That's why I'm trying to tell you, you ought to praise God that you made it to the fire because your miracle starts in the fire. Oh, I wish you get what I'm saying. Saying, my brothers and sisters, you wouldn't have made it to the door. You wouldn't have made it to the fire. In other words, it's a miracle that you made it this far. Hallelujah. It's a miracle that you made it this far. Let me tell you this. God brought me out into the middle. Right? And if he brought me out into the middle... It's because he's going to get me out of it. I don't have to fear. If he got me in the fire, he knows how to get me out of the fire. You know, sometimes we expect God to deliver us from the fire. He does that sometimes. But sometimes he delivers you in the fire. Anyway, as long as I get my freedom, I'm happy. If he delivers me from it, I'll praise him. If he delivers me in the fire, I'll praise him. Because all I know is, I'm going to get my victory. I'm going to be made free. I know some of you are going through the greatest battle or greatest fire of your life. Amen? For some of you, it's a financial fire. 
For some of you, it's a fire of sickness and a battle for your health. Someone else may be going through the fire of marriage problems. Somebody else may be going through the fire dealing with rebellious children. <laughs> Whatever it is, I came to tell you this morning something good is going to come out of this. You mark my words. You write this, this statement down. And when it happens, testify to the world that God kept his word and brought something good out of everything that you're going through right now. I know right now <clears throat> that sounds like insanity because there is no visible, tangible, physical ed evidence of anything good in this fire. That's why when I say something good is going to come out of this, it sounds insane. But I came here this morning to tell you on the authority of the word of God, something good is going to come out of this. And my basis and the basis for my authority is the very word of God itself. I say to you this morning, you are going to make it. I declare to you this morning, you are not going to burn up in the fire. Shout amen if you believe that. Type amen if you believe that. You are going to come out. And I don't mean you are going to come out crawling on hands and knees, all beat up, no clothes, no money, eh? no blessing, no peace, no joy. With your eyebrows burnt and smelling like smoke. No, 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 no. You're not coming out like that. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. I want you to know on the authority of God's word that you are coming out. When you come out, you are coming out blessed, healed, and delivered. You're coming out with more joy, more peace, and a greater anointing than you have ever had in your life. The miracle starts in the fire. Number two, point number two. The devil sends out his best against you because you are a threat to him. The devil sends out his best against you because you are a threat to him. Verse 20. And he commanded certain mighty men of valor who were in his army to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the fiery, burning fiery furnace. Notice the king chose his three most mighty men. The king chose his three most mighty men. In other words, his best, his strongest, his meanest, his best trained soldiers in his army were sent to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Let me tell you this. You might wonder why it feels like that I'm fighting on a different level than I've ever had to fight. It feels like the enemy is stronger than before. That should tell you something, my brothers and sisters. The devil, please listen, the devil doesn't send out or bring out his best if you are not a threat to him. In fact, the level of the attack on your life is the clue to the level of greatness you are about to step into. Oh, that's something great. I want you to catch that. The level of the attack on your life is a clue to the level of promotion that is waiting 
awaiting you. Glory to God. Glory to God. I mean, the devil always will send out his worst. It's his best. It's his strongest. It's his most strong seducing spirits against you. And when you feel that you've been attacked like never before. And let, you, and let me tell you my brothers and sisters. When I was at the weakest point during the COVID. Three continuous days. Three continuous days. Between 12 midnight to 3 in the morning. I had to battle strong demons that came into my room. And began to wrestle with me. Not in my mind. Not in my dream. But physically. Physically strong. Not one. Many were pressing me down into that court. Trying to knock me off. And I kept speaking the word. And it would leave and then come back. It would leave and then come back. And 12 to 3. Three continuous days. The moment I went at my weakest point. The devil thought he had me. And at that time, I kept on resisting. I kept on crying out. And that's when this word came so strongly and was birthed in my spirit. That the reason the strong attack is because when you come out, you're coming out with much more than you ever had in your entire life and ministry. That's somebody's word right now. You are going to come out after this severe attack with everything double for your trouble. Shatamakasanda. Oh my God, I feel such an anointing. My brothers and sisters, the attack is letting you know you must be getting close to your destiny and walking in your purpose. That's why the severity of the attack. That's why the, you know, the demonic onslaught has been loosed against you. Satan's very best has come against you. Don't panic because the best of hell is no match to the God who is in you. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Shut up. Hey, hallelujah. My God, feel I feel something about to happen. My brothers and sisters, you don't know, but you are getting ready to step into a greater anointing than you have ever had in your life before. You are getting ready to step into a greater anointing that you have ever had in your life. And that's why he's trying to intimidate you. Trying to back you down. But don't you ever throw in the towel. Because the stronger the demons is sending a message to you. God is sending a message to you. Don't panic. Because you are a threat to the devil. If you believe that, type in the comment column right now. In the chat column right now. I am a threat to the devil. I mean, if you're really going through some terrible attacks that you have never ever experienced before. If you feel that, you know, the very best of hell. The strongest, the meanest, the most, uh, you know, hateful demons have been loosed against you. The reason is you are a threat to the devil. Hallelujah. 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 Everybody type, I am a threat to the devil. If you're sitting beside somebody, look at them and say, you are a threat to the devil. That's why the fight. That's why the attack. That's why the fiery furnace.